السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو گل نالج ہب ویلکم مائی یوٹیوب فیملی ٹو یور اون چینل وچ از گل نالج ہب ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک اینڈ دا ٹاپک از از گرامر نیسیسری ٹو گین فلوئنسی ان اینی کائنڈ آف لینگویج از گرامر نیسیسری ٹو گین فلوئنسی ان انگلش لینگویج ٹو لرن آن انگلش لینگویج از گرامر نیسیسری ٹو بی فلوئنٹ ان انگلش لینگویج دا آنسر از ڈیٹ there are two theories there are two approaches rather there are two groups of people who think differently we will discuss and at the end of the speech at the end of this video you will gain this point is grammar necessary to gain to learn english language or not so first discuss these two approaches there is one group of people who think that grammar is not necessary to learn english language this group belongs to english society when there is dear audience when there is environment of speaking english when there is environment of english speaking there are different kinds of schools who are in, in english medium and who teach you in english in this way one way or the other you gain different kind of vocabulary you can gain different kind of sentences different sentences are poured in your into your mind through your ears you are continuously listening if you are in that process if you are in that society where everyone speaks english you learn everywhere you learn everywhere the english structures english sentences daily sentences routine sentences and you learn also different kind of vocabulary for example if a child is born in english society take the example of an english child he continuously listens english sentences he continuously listens english words relating to cooking relating to washing relating to bazaar relating to different kinds of activities he is continuously listening at least mainly he speaks english words english sentences english vocabulary like us when we are when we are born or if a child is born in his native language he does not learn grammar he just listens to his elders and by listening he develops the habit of speaking in in his mother tongue so according to this approach according to the to this approach of people grammar is not necessary this is correct if you are born in that environment with all the persons are speaking to you in english and you are continuously listening and your brain is programmed and your brain is structured or organized to listen and he ultimately responds through speaking this is one approach let's move to our uh, towards another approach where it is a point grammar is necessary to gain to learn a new language called english language according to this group if you don't have an environment if you don't know the words if you don't know the vocabulary if you don't know the sentence structures of english how can you learn if you, if i say that this is a finger this is a hand if i don't know the word of english hand how can i recognize that the other person is speaking hand if i don't have the basic knowledge if i don't have the basic knowledge like alphabets there are 24 alphabets in english language if i don't know that 24 alphabets of english language if i don't even recognize english lang words of english language if i don't know apple if i don't know the name of a round ball how can i learn and how can i speak out fluently english language this is very much true you have to learn some grammar you have to learn some vocabulary you have to add some words in your mind in order to train it to speak it out because according to that your mind is your ears are continuously in a constant process listening to those words and your mind is programmed and your mind is so much trained that you speak english fluently 
This is very much true. They are very much true that grammar is not necessary to learn a new language because when you belong to an English society, you don't have any kind of, you don't need any kind of grammar because you are speaking your mother tongue and you don't have to require your grammar for speaking your mother tongue because you are provided with that environment. You are provided with that those sentence structures. You are provided with those words, vocabulary. You don't have to learn any kind of grammar. You are just exposed to listening. And by listening, you develop your art of speaking. Your brain is or learns the art of speaking English fluently. And according to those, this group is also right. Because when you don't even know the basic words, the 24 letters, the vocabulary, the grammar, how can you pronounce and how can you join those words to make a sentence? How can you learn that subject should be first, verb, verb should be in the center and object should be at the last point? How can you recognize that? Before noun comes adjective, adjective defines noun. How can you say that this is, this is a simple sentence? And how can you pronounce a proper sentence without any grammatical mistakes? It is very much difficult. It is next to impossible because that language is like an alien for you. You don't know alien. If an alien stands in front of you and he's continuously uttering some words, you, you can't understand. You are just, you are just notice the whispering of the leaves of that alien. But you can't recognize. This is very much case with the English language. If you don't have the basic knowledge of English language, if you don't have the basic knowledge of grammar, if you don't have the basic knowledge of vocabulary, how can you understand? How can you differentiate? How can you pronounce? How can you train your mind to speak the words in front of anyone? So these two theories are applied to two different societies. One society is where a child is born with an English environment. The other is where a child is born with his native language. He used to speak English. He is used to speak his mother tongue. Here applies grammar and here does not apply a grammar. Here we can exclude grammar, separate grammar. To learn English but here we need grammar in order to understand in order to understand the new language in order to speak new language we have to train our brain we have to train our muscles we have to gain words in order to speak because for sharing ideas we need words for sharing thoughts we need words for sharing knowledge we need words if I am speaking here in front of you I need different kinds of words relating to my topic if i don't know the words how can i how can i speak to you how can i relate my story to you if i don't know the it, it should be subject it should be verb and it should be object and these are these are joined together like muscles of like parts of our body how can i talk to you i even did not even i did not be in the position to talk to you so this is the reality and we have to accept these two approaches. We can't say that this is correct and we can't say that this is correct. These two theories are correct respective to their societies. We have to accept these two, two theories and we have to select either we are in this category or either we are in this category. If we are in this category where we are provided with English environment, we don't have to acquire grammar. To speak English but if we are in this category where our mother tongue mother tongue is some other language we have we need grammar we need vocabulary we need sentence structure to formulate different kind of sentences in order to understand the new language because every new language has its own structure hope you have understood this very basic concept and if you have any other point relating to the, this topic, let me know in my comment section and it will be highly appreciable for me, by me. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.